सो हेलो 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 गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल माय नेम इज रोहित एंड यू वाचिंग रोहित फिक्स एवरीथिंग सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल ओपन टू ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन आर पीसी यू नो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इज एंडिंग द सपोर्ट फॉर द विंडोज 10 सो इन केस यू आर वंडरिंग टू इंस्टॉल और चेक आउट अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम यू कैन चेक लिनक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग फर्दर टाइम Let's head to our Windows PC. So in order to install Ubuntu operating system in our PC, we have to download the ISO file from the internet. So let's head to our browser and quickly search Ubuntu download. Here from this website, we can download the ISO file. Let's quickly download the latest one. Actually, we already have downloaded it earlier. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly close this and open the rufus utility tool this is a good utility to make a usb bootable pen drive so with the help of this tool we're going to make a bootable pen drive by using this iso so for this operation we are going to use a 64 gb of pen drive you can choose a minimum of 8 gb of pen drive if you're using an old laptop or pc or the legacy BIOS, you can go with the MBR partition scheme. For the newer partition scheme or the UF, UEFI BIOS, always go with the GPT-1. And make sure to do a quick backup of your pen drive because in this process, the pen drive is going to be formatted. And we will leave all the settings as default. And let's click on Start. Click on OK. And this is going to take some time. So quickly grab a cup of coffee with you and wait for the process. After completing this, we have to restart our PC and while restarting, we have to boot our PC from the same thumb drive. So let me quickly restart my PC. And while restarting our PC, we have to quickly press the shortcut key to boot from USB drive. So for me, it's F8. And I'm going to choose my USB drive, which is USB partition 61 GB. Here it says try or install Ubuntu. We're going to go with this options only. So this is the setup window to install Ubuntu OS. So this is the language I'm choosing English. Next, I'm going to install Ubuntu. Interactive installation next. Extended selection next. Install third party, download install, support additional media format next. No, I don't want to dual boot. I want to erase the entire disk to install ubuntu i'm going to select my disk which is 250 gb and i'll suggest you to make please make sure which of the disk you are going to install or which of the disk partition you are going to choose if you want to choose a separate partition, just go with the manual installation here. You can choose whatever the partition you want to choose. This always depends on your preference. I have my separate disk drive for this installation purpose. So I'm going to use STC 250GB WDC. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to install in this only. So I'm choosing this next. I don't want any encryption so next let's give it a name next next so none of the other device is going to be affected by this i'm only choosing the stc and this is going to create two partition one is for the EFI boot option and another is for the storage in storage and the OS files. Finally, the install button and hits installing.
and this is going to take a while so grab a cup of coffee with you and wait for it and friends we have installed ubuntu 25 version let's quickly restart our pc so so whenever you restart your pc this is the gnu grub menu and if you have multiple operating system in your pc installed in different disk drives so this will show you all the operating systems this is a very good feature even I didn't choose the dual boot option when I was installing Ubuntu. Still, it's showing the grub boot menu by default. It's, it's a good feature. Let's quickly boot it for the first time. Let's enter the password. Voila! We have Ubuntu 25 installed on our desktop. Here we have a here we have Ubuntu latest version on our PC. Everything seems to work fine. This is the control center. This is the dock. Similar to the start menu or the taskbar in Windows. Let's quickly change this by going to the settings and appearance or ubuntu desktop moving to the dock position click on bottom as you can see the dock is at the bottom like windows taskbar now it's showing some updates let's quickly install them while the ups while the updates are installing we will quickly check the start menu the softwares we have all the necessary softwares we have by default we have fiber office it's uh, it's an open source office here we have all the necessary office applications system tools disk management system monitor networking no additional drivers are required here The system is also up to up to date. Let's quickly change the wallpaper also. This new wallpaper also kind of cool, but I want a vibrant wallpaper like this. This is good. We have some pre-installed software like Firefox, Thunderbird Mail and few of the open source applications for Linux. Now I quickly go to App Center. We can install Steam as well. We have Blender here. We have Brave browser here. Let's also download Chromium browser, which is similar to Chrome. We can also install WPS here. Everything seems to work fine. I didn't find any of the bug or any of the driver or device incompatibility issue. Everything is working fine. Internet is working. Sound is working. The display is also working. The driver, display driver are there. Applications are working fine. And if you are a gamer, you can use Steam application as well in this operating system so you will not going to miss any of the applications that you commonly use in windows and as you can see everything is working and even i am record i am using the obs studio to capture the screen and like windows we use obs studio similar here in 
the Ubuntu operating system as well. We are using it to record my screen. We have Chrome browser here, not Chrome, it's Chromium. It's the same browser which is offered by Google. You can log in here and you can do the stuff that you do on your Chrome browser. And whatever you want, whatever, like if you want to download anything, there is a separate application for that transmission. This is a very useful application you can check out. And most of the apps are working like camera. If, if you are going to install it on laptop, you no need to install any third party driver or any kind of driver or software to use the camera. Everything would be available by default. Here's the video player, the file manager. It gives you a vibe of like some, some vibe of uh, Mac OS also. Here we have the dock similar to Mac OS, the control center similar to Mac OS. And most importantly, this operating system is trusted by many of the developers. Most of the developers and coders use Ubuntu or Linux operating system as their main operating system. So that's it for the today's video. I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, Jai Hind.